Yeah, Duluth just being a big rivalry and how good they are and starting the season off with a big victory because they were ranked higher than us and that big comeback win was awesome. Duluth game. Uh, I would compare it to the year before how we played St. Cloud right at the beginning of the season. We prepared because it was one of our <clears throat> big rivals and I don't know, we took the whole summer and just thought about Duluth. We even wanted to smack them. So. You know, from a performance standpoint, I thought uh, the second half of the Duluth game was outstanding. So my favorite game was the Duluth game and as a freshman that was my my first game I ever started in and it was uh, not nerve wracking until I walked onto the field for the first time and realized like this is real, uh, this is a big rivalry game, Duluth versus Megato. And we didn't come off hot in the first half. I think the score was 17 to three or 17 to zero. And then defense stepped up, offense stepped up, and we pulled off uh, the comeback win kind of a, a big win because we had to share the conference uh, title last year with them. and ended up being a big win because we ended up winning conference outright this past year.
You know, our focus, we're a Midwest team, we're a Midwest program, and uh, we take a lot of pride in, in trying to develop young men uh, from the high school ranks all the way up to the college ranks, and I think that's something that, you know, the, the more quality a person is, uh, the, the better student they are, and uh, obviously there are a lot of great football players out there, but we want somebody that's a complete package. People make the decisions to come here to win championships. I mean, you, you have to go back, I don't know how many years to find a year that we didn't win it. Um, so I, I think that's the biggest selling point from a football standpoint. Um, you know, our, our players are very tight. Um, you know, we have a great atmosphere. We have a great following. Uh, so those are going to be some things that, are, that, that sells this place amongst other schools that we compete against. Um, I'd say there's a number of things that are uh, very attractive about our program, our university. Uh, number one, uh, the education our student athletes can get, uh, uh, very diverse off offerings as far as within our academic programs, uh, play a high level of football, uh, be around a bunch of guys that are very committed to play at a high level. They've worked really hard and uh, have high goals for what we want to achieve and the aspirations that we have to be a, a national power um, in, uh, in football. number one thing about this program and this community and this university and I think that's the number one selling point is family. Um, I've never been around a group of guys um, from the coaches to the players who are tighter, rely on each other. Uh, it definitely has to be family. It's a family sport because like if you ever need anything I'm pretty sure the guys I play with will always be there for you. Um, I think the biggest selling point is just, you know, the brotherhood, you know, the family experience that we provide to a, to a guy. You know, you're coming in on a campus and it can be a little intimidating at times, but right off the bat you're going to have 95 brothers, you know, right here. Um, you know, and I think that's huge to, you know, it can be a grind going through college football and, and both, you know, on the field but also academically. And, uh, you know, to be able to have the support um, from all those guys around you and be able to lean on those guys, you know. I know a ton of our players and the seniors that they'd be able to tell you firsthand, they're, they're probably one of those favorite experiences it would be just being on the road with those guys in the bus, you know, hanging out in the hotel, um, you know, going out to eat every single week.
Uh, practice is just a ton of fun. Um, everybody's out there working hard and trying to get better, and the coaches make it awesome. Plus, we get to listen to music, so it's awesome. <laughs>come back to a place that that you played um that you know you went from a little kid to a man uh at and and i mean i've always watched uh msu from afar uh, i actually coached in the conference last year and and you know the national championship game i was uh in 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 the box seats with with my msu gear on and, and cheering us on so you know it, it's it's an awesome feeling you know it's something i always wanted to do and then getting that opportunity was an opportunity i couldn't pass up and and just excited to be a part of of what I've watched my, my alma mater become, and now to be able to help uh, continue that success is, is something that you dream about.
think the culture that has been established and has been carried on throughout is amazing. And it's bought, everybody's bought in from the players to the community to the, to the university and uh, the environment's fantastic. Uh, the biggest thing we talk about here is culture, and it's kind of the newest uh, buzzword, you know, that everyone kind of talks about, but, you know, family and brotherhood, and, you know, I think our guys here really embrace that, and, you know, they talk about it and what it means to play for each other, and, you know, they really live for that every day, and I was lucky to come here two years ago and really experience, you know, that firsthand, and we have a lot of great players, uh, but when they play together, that's when you can accomplish great things, and, and that's what Minnesota State's all about. I give myself is to not let the nerves take over, to listen and take everything in and uh, know that mistakes will happen but uh, everyone on the team is supportive. Uh, everyone will, uh, everyone helps everyone and that's what I love about Minnesota State. Uh, you truly do feel like Everyone is a part of a family. I think the biggest thing with our program is that our guys open, have open arms to anybody that comes in here. You know, I mean, it, it's uh, if you're able to meet and exceed those expectations that are left, you know, you're going to have an unbelievable career with us. Good. Good. Good.
The biggest thing is, since 2007, I think the program's done so well because not only is there, you know, buy-in from the players, but the staff has been able to stick together quite a bit. Um, we have a ton of support, you know, from the athletic administration, um, you know, and to be able to have five postseason opportunities, you know, the last five seasons, it really shows which direction the program's going. Um, I you know, think that so. you don't want to ever be satisfied with where you're at, no matter what the outcome of what you have just done is. You're always trying to strive to get better and improve, and the reason that there has been success is I think that's, I know that's the mindset of not only the coaches, the administration, and our, certainly our players. Uh, you know, with the success we have already had, you know, it's only one place that, you know, we wish, hope, and I think that we can go. Um, and that's that's to, to go finish history and win a national championship. I mean, we're at the point where we're a top five program in the country. Um, and, you know, you know, we talk about championships. I think every team talks about, you know, going to the national title, going to the playoffs. Um, but not all, t not all teams are realistic with it. And I think that's where we're at as a program. And we continue, we want to continue to, to have that success and that opportunity to be able to, you know, try to win a national title. I think our seniors, you know, what they've accomplished in four years have really taken this program to new heights um, in a very competitive league, one of the best in the country. And I really think they set the foundation for the future. And we always talk about here what you've provided for the next group and what these guys have provided for the next group, you know, to really take on, you know, as a 43-1 and record in conference in the last four years, a regional championship, a national championship game experience. And this next group, it's their job to carry it on. And, um, you know, that's what we talk about in recruiting, and that's ultimately what's exciting about Minnesota State, to come in, play for championships, get a great education, 
and really take this uh, program to the next level, and that's hopefully getting another shot at the, the big one and winning it all. is just about these seniors, you know, and what they have done as a group. And, you know, I'm gonna miss these guys. And they came to work every day. They worked their tail off. They believe in coaching. We coach them hard. And, you know, they believe in each other. And that's when great things can be done. And I think it's a really special group. And uh, I think they showed these young guys what it takes to win at this level and the dedication you need day in and day out and over the summer. And, uh, you know, this is why, you know, I'm here. This is why a lot of the coaches and players come here. is because of what this group has done and has set us up for the future. I think this year's group of seniors uh, had a strong influence on what's transpired in the past in regards to starting these championships, whether they redshirted or contributed right away and redshirted at some other standpoint in their career. But uh, the last five years have been the best five years in Maverick football history.
Playing, you're trying to like show people that your program is at that standard. That you're trying to like show people what you what you can do. It was a lot of fun. It definitely made the game. Uh, I mean, it made me more nervous, I guess, just because you're playing in front of the whole nation. So, but I mean, it made games that more that much more interesting. So, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's an awesome experience. Uh, you know, there's so many others watching you, than just at Blakesley or wherever we were playing and it allows your far family and friends to play. It's an awesome experience. important for me to go out my senior year going out on top of the conference um, and just with all the guys that were there to help me and the team to do that it was awesome. Uh, it means a lot because I mean the last few years we've uh, been co-conference champions a couple times and everything and it's just an uh, amazing feeling to be outright because you're the champion of the whole conference and nobody else can say they're the champion.
Amazing Championship. Please join me in congratulating your Mavericks. Since 2008, uh, over the last eight seasons, uh, Maverick football has been in postseason play seven out of eight years. And so there's only one year where we didn't extend the season. And that's something that we're exceptionally proud of. You know, every year you may or may not win a championship, uh, but you want to be in a position to be one of the best teams in Division II. And there are 28 teams that get an opportunity to compete. And fortunately, we've had plenty of those uh, over the last eight years to be able to compete at a very high level. And um, being nationally ranked uh, at one standpoint during the year, we were uh, eight weeks in a row, we were the number one team in the nation, uh, which is something to be very proud of. There's a lot of notoriety and exposure that comes with being the number one team in the nation. And, and that's something that, uh, you know, that's a, uh, a extension of not only previous years but also the success we had early in this season that leads to a number one ranking. Go, kid. Oh.